Good morning. Today I'm going to do a short video on upgrading a file format of your database. So basically, how can we take an old MDB and convert it over to being an ACCDB so we know it's going to operate properly moving forward? So let's take a look how it's done. Now, the reason we want to upgrade the file format is to ensure that our database will continue to work moving forward. And we should be proactive about this. And I say this just for the simple reason that Microsoft has already started to stop supporting older versions of MDBs. So right now, uh, if you're running the later versions of Access, it only accepts the last version MDB file format, uh, which means if you have an old 2.0 MDB, a 97 MDB, things like that, you won't even be able to open them anymore. And case in point, I downloaded a database uh, from a website and I knew it was a 97, but just if you run it now and you try to open it, you're going to get this error. Cannot open database created with a previous version of your application. And what that means is, even though you have access installed, you cannot use that database anymore. So ideally, if you've got a database and you're still able to open it and it's an MDB, you should be converting it immediately. You really, really should. Um, if you have an older version and you can't even open it, well, then your only recourse is to use an older version of Access. I like to use Access 2010 because it can basically open everything. And you use that to convert it. And then after you've converted it with 2010, then you can move over to a newer version of Access and it will be able to use the converted database. So sometimes we have to jump through an extra hoop, which is to use an intermediary version of Access to perform the conversion. If you're lucky enough that you don't need it, I still highly recommend you convert your MDBs. You also have to realize that ACCDBs came out in Access 2007, so they've been out now for uh, 16 years. It's time to do the upgrade. You never know when Microsoft is going to one day just turn around and say, we no longer support MDBs at all. I'm not saying they've said that. I'm just saying we've seen them historically stop supporting older versions. So there is a chance that at one point we're going to just see them stop supporting MDBs completely. And we should, you know, plan for that and avoid the issue altogether. It's very easy to avoid. So let's look at how we would take this one and upgrade it. And then I'll do another example with just a normal 2003 MDB and how we upgrade that. They're almost the exact same thing. But for this one, I'm going to now have to switch over to a 2010 version of Access to be able to do the conversion. Okay, so here we are in a 2010 machine this time. And you'll see we can take our database now. And if we launch it, it will automatically open properly. We don't get the error message anymore because the 2010 can read the older MDB. And then we are already presented with this conversion request. It's already asking us, uh, and, you know, we need to convert it. And it's asking you, do you want to proceed with this, what they call enhancement? Then what it is, and Access will upgrade your database. Well, actually, it's not necessarily an upgrade. It's conversion. It's switching it over to the ACCDB. So all you literally do is say yes. You give it a second. It's going to ask you for the name. I'm just going to pop it back on my desktop. And we just say yes, save it. You give it a couple seconds. This seems to happen every single time. No matter what database, I always get this pop-up. So I think there's a bug or it's just normal. But it says that it gets some errors. Then you get a confirmation that it's done. And it's telling you, okay, now that it's done, this can't be opened with 2003 or earlier, which is normal. ACCDB only is supported as of Access 2007. And then you press OK, and there it is. Now, right off the bat, you know, you go and show all objects. I also like to add the search bar. Those are my two defaults. Now, why I'm showing all uh, the objects is because I want to check this table that says conversion error. And if you look at it, I, it's always the same error that I get, regardless. And it has to do with no longer supports security level. Well, there was none in the, in the database to begin with. So I don't know why it's complaining about it. 
Um, so at the end of the day, I reviewed my errors, conversion errors. To me, there's nothing of any importance. So just to bring things back to the way they were, I can just delete that table now. Now is a good time to do a compact and repair. Now is also a great time, if required, to go into your VBA and ensure that it compiles properly. It's also a good time to check your references to make sure everything is all right there, that you're not missing any references. And once that's done, if you manage to compile it, no errors, there's no issues with your uh, references, well then your database should be good to go. And now on my desktop, I have the original MDB, but I now have this converted ACCDB. And that literally is how hard it is to convert a database, upgrade the file format from MDB to ACCDB. Now we can take this ACDB off of the 2010 and we can put it into Office 365. We can put it on, uh, you know, Access 2021 and it will run fine because it's now in an ACCDB format. So here we are back on my uh, more modern machine and I've copied the ACCDB we just created previously in 2010 just to prove that now when we open it, it'll open in the later versions without issue. Obviously, you have to enable content or have a trusted location, but once that's done, the database is functional. You'll see we don't have any errors. We can open up the uh, forms, the reports, whatever the case may be, everything works. Obviously, every time you migrate to a newer version, you should always double check that it does compile and you don't have reference issues. But as a whole, as you can see, the conversion process was successful. Now, if you're lucky enough that your MDB is actually in the last version, then the conversion process is even simpler because you don't need to jump through that intermediary step of using, let's say, Access 2007, 2010 to do a conversion before you can actually import it over to your newer copy of Access. So I have here, like the name says, a blank 2003 MDB. And if I open it up, it's going to open, okay? So the MDB is in a format that the later version will accept. That's fine. But it's still an MDB, and I, it's time to move on beyond. As you can see here, it's telling me it's an Access 2000 file format. Um, and that's fine, but you think we're in 2022. That's a 22-year-old file format. It's time to upgrade. And the process is even simpler. You simply go into File. You come down to the Save As. And here you're going to pick that you want to switch it. And by default, it already is in my case. I want to save it as an ACCDB. Once you do that, you just press the Save As button down here. It's going to ask you where in the name to give it. I'm going to put it back on my desktop next to the original file. And you just let it go. And you get the same message that now it's no longer compatible with 2003 and earlier. And you're done. Now it op now it's going to close your MDB and it opens that ACCDB and as you can see up here it already told you you're running the ACCDB which is a 2007 to 2016 file format. You enable it or you have a trusted location and you're able to use your database as you normally would. So the conversion process is very simple. Okay, so we've gone over the steps of how we upgrade the file format from an MDB to an ACCDB in both cases. But what are the considerations to this? What do we need to be aware of? Um, I have a small article on my blog uh, that covers some of it. And I have a section here, as you can see, what are the advantages and also what are the disadvantages? Now, the major advantages, there's a couple of them. Um, well, first of all, the most important is you're ensuring that your database continues to work. You don't want to end up at the point where one day Microsoft decides to abandon MDB format and you find yourself holding the bag with a database that no longer works and you don't have a version of access that can open it and what do I do and then you're at the mercy of finding someone that can help you out or you gotta somehow find an old version buy an old license you know it's just a, a headache that you don't need so this is one of the reasons you upgrade now and you ensure that your database continues to work flawlessly without issue there's also the major improvement in encryption. Previously, adding a database password on an MDB was useless. It could be cracked in seconds. 
Um, the new encryption routine is much better, much more resilient. Um, so from a security standpoint, upgrading is a very smart move. Um, the other thing um, is new features. Uh, what did the ACCDB bring in the last 15, 16 years? And people will mention things like new data types, you know, multi-value uh, attachment types. Uh, for me, that's not a selling point. I advise against using any of them. For me, they're just not a selling point. But for some people, they are. Some people love them. And without an ACCDB, it's not possible. Um, but the downside, what is the downside to upgrading? What do we need to consider? Well, it's the loss of ULS, the loss of user level security. If you run an MDB in Access and a newer version of Access, it continues to work. But once you make that conversion, the ULS will stop working. And that's where you have to have already organized yourself to replace it. And there are third party tools for that. There are also, you can find examples of how you can build your own system. That's what I did. I'll probably make a video on that at a later date. It's not hard once you go through a little bit the logic of how security works, and then you can create your own, and you can control the complexity of which. It can be something very simple. It can be something very complex, and you can go down to locking individual fields if you want, and buttons and things like that. But that's uh, outside the scope of today's discussion. But just be aware, ULS, you're going to have to find a, a different way of handling it. Now, that's the global discussion for this upgrading file formats. But hand in hand with this, however, quite often what I've had happen is why do you end up needing this? Because most people aren't proactive. Most people aren't going to say, well, it's time for me to upgrade my MDB to an ACCDB. What happens in most cases is, I get a phone call from a client whose IT department upgraded their office. So the they were running an MDB for years, no problems. IT overnight implemented, uh, let's say, Microsoft 365, and suddenly they can't use their database. And they got that pop-up created with a previous version. So now they're calling me in a panic about that. And why I'm mentioning this, because we know how to resolve the immediate issue that pop up by upgrading the file format is then quite often they encounter a second issue. Now it's not related to the file format per se. It's actually related to having upgraded, you know, migrated from 2003 or 2007 and suddenly being thrust into this MS 365 or perhaps access 2021 or, you know, whatever the case may be, they've done a big leap forward. And now Unbeknownst to them, the IT department just installed by default access. Now, by default, the installation is now 64-bit. So quite often what happens at the same time that you're needing to upgrade this file format is now you've got a bitness change as well. And this is going to impact your APIs, your ActiveX controls, things like that. So I just want you to be aware that's, you know, some people say, oh, well, the file format caught. No, it didn't cause this problem. What's caused this problem is your IT department changed your installation bitness. And that can cause all sorts of issues. I often, in many cases, recommend the 32-bit. To me, I have yet to see a true reason to upgrade to 64-bit versions of Office. Uh, they do exist. Don't get me wrong. There are exceptions. But in a general sense, for most users, there is zero benefit to going to 64-bit, and it just causes an extra layer of complexity. Obviously, that is the way we are going. It is something we're going to have to face. But if you're stuck today and you have a client that's blocked, sometimes it's just easier to uninstall Office, reinstall it as a 32-bit, send their operational, and then you can look at properly taking time to upgrade what needs to be upgraded. And it can always be switched over to the 64-bit once you get everything ironed out. But I just wanted to put that little uh, mention in there that often, you, in my experience at least, uh, these things almost go hand in hand. One actually precipitates the other. And it's actually the change in office that causes this urgency in upgrading to an ACCDB and often then causes other issues to, to appear. The other thing, though, to mention also is when we are switching like that versions of access, we're moving forward from 
you know, 2007, 2010, whatever the case may be, or even earlier, up to a later version of Access is over the years, Access has become more strict in its VBA programming. So this is why compiling is very important. Code that used to work may no longer work and may need to be massaged slightly to make it work again. Um, I've seen that happen a lot. Um, things like open form and things like that, where the the programmer, I don't know if it was lazy or, but they use the wrong input argument, the wrong variables. And sometimes it's just a quick fix and everything's back in order. Um, I have yet to have an upgrade where I really had to spend an enormous amount of time to fix and get functional again. But I did want to say that quite often, however, when I do the compile, it will flag minor issues. You just quickly go through them, you fix up the code, and you move on. So just keep those things in the back of your mind. And compiling is critical when you do this operation. And you should be compiling on the computer when you do the upgrade. So if you have to use an intermediary, but also, it's important to compile on the computer that's going to be running it. So you ensure that it runs properly. And as always, test, test, test before you put it into production. So these are things normally that you'll do on a test machine, on a development computer. You test it out, you ensure everything's good. And when you know you've done the upgrade successfully, everything works properly as it should, then you put it into production for your users. And that basically wraps it up for uh, upgrading your MDB to an ACCDB. Um, as you saw, it's very easy. You have two case scenarios here. You have the case where you have a 2000 file format that's still legible, and you can just do the save as. Or if you've got an older version of an MDB, well, then you have to pass through an intermediary version. I recommend 2010, typically. It's always worked for me. So you just open it up, you're going to get that prompt, and you let Access do its thing. It's that simple as that. And then you can always review the uh, conversion table. Thank you for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me. And like, share, if you're able to you know, promote these videos, my channel, in any matter, greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care and have a great day.